Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, your boy, Yuma Kong. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are going to be talking about the transfer of Sandy McKeever from Everton to Manchester City. So let's jump straight into it. Right, okay guys, as you can see on your screen, it says Sandy McKeever signs for City. Yep, we have signed the England international and former Everton keeper, Sandy McKeever, on a three-year deal. Now for me, I'm excited for this. Why? Because we don't have any keepers. We have Ellie and we have Kiara. Now, Ellie has had that really long injury. She is back now, but she has had that injury. And then Kiara is only 18, so she's nowhere near being the number one yet. And of course, we're losing Taib and Karen Bardsley. This is a good move. It's such a good move to get a second keeper who is actually really good. And I am really excited for this because Sandy is going to be pushing Ellie and, and Ellie will be pushing Sandy to reach the highest level of both of them. So we're going to have two really good keepers. And I think that's very good in football to have two really good keepers. A battling out for the number one jersey. I think that's really good. And thinking about it, I'm going to suggest or probably say that I would imagine that Ellie will be our keeper for the league and Champions League. And then right, Sandy will be our keeper for the cup games. Is that's what I'm going to imagine is going to happen. Now, of course, we signed her on a three-year contract. And she will take up the number 22 jersey. And yeah, so this is kind of her second spell here. As she was part of our academy back in 2015. So seven years ago. That's a long time. How happy she's to be back here and stuff like that. So here is an interview. It's only six minutes long, guys. Go watch it. It's a really good interview, as you always are. So yeah. So again, I am super excited for this because she's a very good keeper. She's very good with her feet and she's very good with her hands, which is something that you kind of need in today's game to be a modern keeper. I think you need to be good with your hands as well as your feet. It has to be like an equal thing. But okay, right, if you guys remember when we played Everton in the FA Cup final um, last year, or the year before, I think it was last year actually, and we won 3-1. Now, it sounds like we won 3-1 and she didn't do her job. But she was so instrumental for them, for Everton. That was such a frustrating game to watch. She would save absolutely anything that came her way. It went to extra time because she was saving stuff that, no, you just sh should not be saving that. We'd get the ball, we'd go for a shot, which we probably would score normally. But then she was there saving it. Like she was saving everything that was coming her way, left, right, centre. She was there, she was like a brick wall for them pretty much. And of course, we did win, so so she probably won't get the credit that she deserved in that game. But she is the reason why Everton were in that game as long as they were, because they didn't really pose much of a threat to us. So she moves from Everton, who finished 10th last season, to City, who finished 3rd. And I think that this will make us push on and hopefully push for that title in the Super League and hopefully win it. And, and hopefully we can knock off Chelsea off their perch with a bit of luck. So yeah, so that's Sandy McKeever. And now the other day, we did announce the signing of Mary Fowler as well. Now you're probably like, why didn't you make a video on Mary? Because you made a video on the other players. And that is simply because, and this is the God's honest truth, I don't know who Mary is. This is me holding my hands up. I don't know who she is. I do not get to watch the French League, whether it's the men's or the women's. I don't get to watch it. And I hadn't really heard much about her. But I trust the decision of the club to sign her. And I think that she will be... A fantastic signing for us now she is a very exciting talent according to lots of different people with one huge reputation she's 19 she signed on a four-year contract yeah so we've got her for a good few years and for her to progress and become a real world beater now of course again i'm sorry that i didn't make a video on this because i just simply didn't know too much about mary but i am very excited to see her play next season and i honestly can't wait to see her into the team and gel with the other players and just see how well this team actually plays together I cannot wait to see it happen. And of course, if you guys want to read all this stuff, I will go here. And here is another interview. Yeah. It's only 12 minutes long. So, yeah, so go watch it. It's really good. And yeah, so yeah, um, I think we've done such a good job this transfer window. I think we've brought in players that we've needed to replace players that have been outgoing and stuff like that. Right, okay. And I do have one thing. If anyone from Manchester City is watching this, I doubt you guys are because I am, as I am a little nobody. But if you guys are, um, would it be possible if we could sign a right back, please? Please, just one right back. But right, okay, I know we have players who can play right back. And we do have Esme Morgan, who is a right back. 
but she's very young and if she gets injured and stuff and yeah so if if we could sign a right back then this would legit be a 10 out of 10 transfer window and i would be jumping over the blue moon i would be so happy yeah so yeah guys that is it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video and please tell me how excited you guys are to see mary fowler and sandy mckeever signing for manchester city so yeah guys that is it for me today i hope you have enjoyed this short little video and until next time i will catch you later uh, goodbye